Hi everybody, Ambika Warrior here. It's a very nice warm day here in Delhi and I can hear a lot of birds chirping. I guess it is thanks to the lockdown. They're not scared of human beings anymore. And it's so wonderful to hear those lovely sounds and of various types. Today I'm here to talk a little bit about how to help the toddlers at home during this period of uncertainty. I would not want to really particularly call this as a parenting session. It's just a reminder of what you all already know as parents. Each parent is aware of what needs to be done with their own child. And I'm so proud of that fact that we all are aware of what needs to be done. As I said, it is just a small little reminder to bring up those forgotten little tips that you have in your mind. To begin with, I would say that right now what is happening is we are all in a nuclear family and with both the parents working, neither the parents nor the child or children are used to being with each other the entire day. The parents come back from the office, pick the child up from the daycare and then there are just few hours and in those few hours we have a lot of fun with each other because the child goes off to sleep much more earlier than the parents do. So it's just three or four hours that we have to manage, we have to entertain the child, we have to have that fun activity with the child. But now suddenly with working from home and the child not having school and with toddlers they don't even have online classes. So this has got a little overwhelming for the parents. It is not that they do not know how to handle their child or what are the activities they need to do with the child. It's just that this has got a little overwhelming because of the uncertainty. We are not too sure until when this lockdown would continue. Right now we are aware of the fact that this would go on until 14th or 15th of April. But there are chances that it may extend. There are chances it may not extend. And if it extends, how would it extend and till when? So these are the thoughts that are continuously going on in our minds as well. So now coming back to the simple tips that I would really like to let you all know is since both of you all are working please see to it that your logging in times are different so if one of you all plan to log in at say 9 a.m. in the morning ensure the other person either logs in a little early or probably a couple of hours late so that when you take a break you can spend that time with the child Please ensure that you plan your professional schedule completely separate from your personal schedule. Being at home has a disadvantage while working because work is continuously going on in our minds. While cooking, while cleaning, while being with the child, the continuous thought of work, the email that needs to be checked, the meeting that needs to be scheduled is going on in our mind. So you have to consciously break that habit of thought process, which is why it becomes very important that you, if required, make a timetable like the way we all did when we were in school, stick it on the door so that you're aware that your office timings are such and such. And then there is a break and that is your pure personal time. The other thing I would like to suggest or I would request you all to think about and work upon us please have a word with your authorities, with the organization, especially for the working mothers. I'm sure the organization would consider because they understand what the problem is. It's not easy to have a toddler at home and work continuously for eight hours. So please have a word with your company authorities. Work out a schedule for yourself and ensure this is communicated with the team, with your family members, and whoever else is a stakeholder in your work from home activity. The next is ensure your child gets proper food and nourishment. By proper food, of course, I know you would not starve the child. By proper food, I mean to say less of sugar intake for the child and more of vegetables and fruits in a way the child would have. This nourishment would ensure that the child's frustration level is low. Right now what is happening is since the child cannot go out and the child cannot express it in as many words as we adults can, the child is showing the 
uh, irritation and frustration by way of getting angry or by way of crying. So ensure the child gets enough sleep, ensure the child gets food or the child is fed at frequent intervals the right way and ensure that the child is spoken to at frequent intervals because this is one way that the child would understand that you still care for the child and you're just not sitting in front of the laptops. And don't worry, one little hug, one little kiss and a couple of questions about the child would ensure that the child is happy. So we do not really have to worry much about the child's mental well-being. Children switch like that. So it's very easy to flip their thoughts. Please ensure you do this often with the child. Now when it comes to yourself, I do understand that many of us feel guilty sitting in front of the laptop, in front of the desktop for the entire day and not taking care of the child. So this guilt automatically would reduce once you have your schedule in place. And whenever possible, please ensure you take your child out to the veranda, out to the balcony. Show the child some nature, show the child something that is happening around, maybe, you know, a breezy day, the leaves are moving. These are little pleasures that the child would derive out of seeing something else rather than just being at home continuously. I hope these little tips will help your creativity to start working. And in the comment section, I would add a few links of activities that you could do with your child. If you need more activities, please do feel free to comment on in the comment box and I'll surely get back to you. Until then, be happy, have a lot of fun with your toddler, enjoy your time with the toddler because once the lockdown is over, again you would be pressed for time. So instead of getting overwhelmed during these days, be happy that you're getting these extra hours with the child. Stay at home, stay safe. See you soon.